We will see uh, 35% growth in supply on the platform this year. This is accounting for the disruption that has been caused by COVID. We've seen 20 years of acceleration in the um, uh, in our business in the last mm -hmm. two months. That you can't go to a trade show. You can't mm -hmm. travel easily between cities. You, you can't get on an airplane. You have to work from your laptop to the sell to the world. Hello everyone, welcome to Business Insider. This is Sriram Iyer, and we are kicking off this special campaign dedicated to the country's micro, small and medium businesses. I know everyone talks about it all the time, but nothing never really gets done, isn't it? And that's what we're here to do at Business Insider, provide solutions for the world's toughest problems for the smoke from all kinds of businesses, you know, from the smallest to the biggest. And that's what we're here to do. And for this very special kickoff for the dedicated MSME exchange uh, that we are, this, this property that we are calling, uh, the heart of India Inc. These are the most important businesses in the country. Uh, they are the lion's chunk of all the business that's done. Uh, while the headlines, while the big corporates, uh, you know, hog the headlines, these small businesses are the ones that keep the economic engine chugging along. And we are dedicated to keep them chugging along through these very, very, very difficult times. That is the COVID-19 pandemic and all the other uh, crises that have stemmed out of this in the recent weeks and months. Joining us today for this very special debut of the MSME Exchange is John Kaplan. He is the president of North America and Europe for Alibaba.com, one of the world's biggest conglomerates, uh, a pioneer in the digital businesses, and uh, you know, uh, an absolutely uh, a special company in this, uh, a very significant company in this global economy that is increasingly turning digital and it's increasingly innovating. Uh, and, and these innovations are will have to be stepped up uh, to ensure that uh, the world recovers from this pandemic and the resulting crisis sooner than later. And that is exactly what we're going to discuss with John. John, welcome to Business Insider. Thank you so much for taking time out. This very special edition powered by Alibaba. Uh, you know, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you on the show. Uh, tell us, you. You, 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 you've told me that uh, you have this promise of helping small and business, uh, small and micro, be, uh, me, medium and micro businesses. Um, no matter where they are, uh, be able to access and benefit uh, from the globalized market that we have today. What is it that you're putting on the table today? So, um, first of all, it's great to be here um, together with you, both of us from home, which is, yeah. I think, a good um, uh, uh, analogy for how important digital technology is for small businesses, right? Um, we're not, we're both working from home because of COVID. And so our, we, we've had to transform how we engage with one another. Unfortunately, I, I can't. You know what? I stay, I stay, this, this, the background that you see is very far away from where I stay in Mumbai, but I can still do that. Thanks to <laughs> digital technology. <laughs> it looks perfect. Um, yeah. Alibaba.com is a platform to help the world small businesses get digital and go global. And the reason that's so important right now is exports are the key to success for small businesses around the world. We have buyers in 190 countries um, that are coming to Alibaba.com to find high quality manufacturers uh, from around the world. So for example, I was talking to a US small business who was um, using Alibaba.com to find access to uh, tableware made in India. So the company is called Karmic Seed. And what she does, she's in New Jersey, which is a state in the United States. She goes to Alibaba.com to find ma small manufacturers in India. And, you know, if you think about that, if you're an entrepreneur in India, the market for you today is global. And that's, you know, to join our platform, it's $1,399. Okay. And we do not take a commission on your sales. So you open up a storefront on Alibaba.com and it's like a key 
that opening the door to the global economy, to global buyers. And if you think about it, we have six, seven, eight million business buyers on Alibaba.com every day. And the average order on the Alibaba.com platform is many thousands of dollars, right? $4,000, $10,000, $100,000. And so if you think about what that means to the MS, MS, MSMB business, easy for me to say, <laughs> it's, it's it's early in the morning in the United States. Um, yeah, you are in New York, right? Uh, outside of New York. So that'll be about five o'clock right now. No, it's it's seven thirty in the morning here in, in okay. New York City. I've only had two cups of coffee so far. So <laughs> that's, that's fine. MSME is a mouthful for anyone, yes. and if saying it is so difficult, imagine dealing with their problems. Yeah. Uh, and that is something that is what our uh, this this the special uh, series that is the MSME Exchange is dedicated to solving. And I'm glad you're here uh, with your fourteen hundred dollar thirteen ninety nine. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a slightly old school guy. I would like to say fourteen hundred, but for those thirteen ninety nine dollars, uh, is that for a month or for a year? Ah, good question. You join Alibaba.com, and that's a one year membership. Okay. And okay. with that membership, you're able to open your storefront, upload your products or your capabilities, and begin to market to the global buyers on our platform. And it's. The thing that's really important about Alibaba.com is it's a way to get new leads, right? New customers and to engage with those customers. So one of the technologies mm -hmm. that has built is real-time translation. So a buyer in Brazil can talk mm -hmm. to a seller in India and the, the buyer in Brazil can be speaking in Portuguese, but the seller in India can be speaking in English, right? And so there's this remarkable... Um, real-time translation technology that makes the world a lot closer, right? We don't want to have language get in the way of opportunity. And that's what we've built with our technology, real translation, messaging systems, logistics, financing, all the tools that a seller needs and a buyer needs to do business with each other. So am I, so if I am a, a small time manufacturer, you know, I don't know, make, making parts or making some, you know, yep. I, cashmere stuff things that uh, uh, you know have a huge uh, demand in global markets uh, what do you think is the uh, so so do i get a suite of all the products that you have like i get to use uh, an alipay the alibaba logistics so the transportation is taken care of my payments are taken care of is that does that how it work works yeah. or do i have to pay more for each of these services no, so the, you, you pay once to join Alibaba.com and you get all the basic tools of our platform. You can spend more money on our system if you want to actually market to get more leads or more traffic, but that you don't have to mm. do that. So it's your, op, it's your mm. choice. And unlike other marketplaces, Alibaba.com does not charge a commission on your orders. So... If you sell something for $500, you keep the $500. Alibaba.com doesn't take a percentage of that. And I think that's very mm -hmm. important for the small business owner because he or she is able to um, uh, you know, make lots of margin, right? The more you sell and if you keep your margin, if you sell $100,000 on Alibaba.com or $100 million on our platform, you pay the same fee. And that's a pretty powerful way to help uh, empower small businesses to grow. That's really what we're trying to do. Our mission is to make it easy for folks to do business anywhere they want. Um, mm -hmm. And that's what the, our tools are all about. So those who are watching this right now, uh, um, what he, uh, John here is offering to the many millions of mini, micro, sm medium and small businesses in India is a $1,400 plan, which is in Indian currency, it'll be about a little over a lakh rupees, I suppose, uh, you know, depending on the currency rate. Um, and that's a one-year membership for Alibaba. And in that, with that, you get a complete suite of products, including payments, logistics, and finding customers in other countries. Um, I think uh, that that's the gist of what the offer is on the table from uh, John here. Uh, John, I, I will have to ask you this at this point that... Uh, First is, uh, actually, I want to focus on 
this is you you had a, a summit with msme uh, businesses alibaba had a, a, a summit la, uh, last month in india um, and i'm i'm guessing you had a, a similar conversation about the same product uh, what kind of response did you get it um, you know to start with how many businesses were interested how many have them how many of them have signed up in the last one month yeah so so the sign ups is data that we won't share publicly but i can say i have to india, ask you <laughs> the india market is growing yeah. for alibaba.com uh incredibly quickly right it is surging because i think the entrepreneurs in india recognize the opportunity i'll give you one example um there's an entrepreneur who runs a company called Nutricore Biosciences um and it's a really interesting business because they are health supplements right they're in the health supplements business like whey protein and similar uh goods and mm -hmm. the uh, the entrepreneur pivoted his, his business um and got online and a third of his annual volume happened in the month of May on alibaba.com there is so much demand here that the best decision an indian based entrepreneur can make is to apply and join the alibaba.com platform because it opens the world's markets uh in a very simple to use digital first way so do, are there any solutions to make sure that my product comes in ahead of uh, other competitors um well there's a few things the more rich the data you provide the photography mm -hmm. content the how you design your storefront and then the algorithms on alibaba.com are based on a few key factors uh responsiveness so what happens is a customer will message you and if you respond quickly and are helpful your ratings will improve in the platform you'll get more demand so it's mm -hmm. a it we are a customer first company the better you serve customers the happier they are the more customers you will get so you know the, the what I always tell entrepreneurs who are using our platform to do is keep it simple if a customer messages you respond in you know instantly to them if you if they buy something for, from you make sure what you send them is exactly what they asked for the united states so one customers get to rate rate me as the supplier or a buyer of course, of course. Yeah. yes you know one third of the customers the buyers on alibaba.com are in the united states and they are it's the largest buyer market by far and the the transactions involving us buyers in uh april and may and june are up over 100% this year over last year you know our business has doubled in one year with U american businesses and so and if you're an india based entrepreneur this alibaba.com is a great way to penetrate the us buyer market and those us buyers want the high quality manufacturing and capability that the the small business in india is able to provide that's such the you know great insight on that uh, the size of the us market it's hardly a surprise no matter what you make all the maximum number of buyers are in the us Yes. Uh, <laughs> so I'm glad it's in sync with that. There, there are no surprises there. Uh, so uh, you know, anybody interested in making money in dollars, the Indian businesses, I think that will be a great change for you, if at all. Uh, uh, the second uh, question is that the, it's a, I'm taking off from the last one on the response in India, and I'm asking this because as a business in India right now, and it's all over the world, there is an issue. Uh, there is a growing narrative against. uh you know a political campaign that's being led against a lot of chinese companies it's a, it's it's largely political uh, uh how how are you sort of you know when I mean, when you're talking to these msmes how are you navigating these challenges is any business even asking you uh, about the country of origin so so um i i appreciate the question i understand uh the imperative to ask it um alibaba.com is a global platform and and being a global platform when i travel around the world before covid when i was able to travel around the world and you meet an entrepreneur an entrepreneur in vietnam or india or italy or the united states he or she wants the same thing they want more more sales more margin you know put, put food on the table for their children and send their kids to college right and so our platform is uh 
a great utility for folks who are, are, are have a, that priority. And global trade is good for everybody. The more we are connected together with global trade, the better outcomes it is for all. And you know, so at Alibaba.com, we are strong uh, supporters of uh, global and open trade between uh, small businesses around the world. Absolutely. I think uh, the product is yours. The buyer is somewhere else. Uh, what does it matter? Uh, you know, what's the, what the platform is. Um, essentially, it's a choice that businesses will make and they'll have to pick their priorities. Uh, is there, a, a, so in terms of what your outlook for India, as in how big do you think, how big India is for Alibaba right now? And how big can, do you think it can become, uh, let's yeah. say, over the next year or two? You know, the, I, the, um, it's a really interesting question because the, the economy in India is growing, you know, remarkably well. And the importance of It doesn't of the, feel like that, John. It doesn't feel like that. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I do understand that. But what, if you look at the arc of history, it's uh, a pretty... It, it, if yeah, you look absolutely. At the, I agree. I mean, the last uh, three months have, uh, we've lost all sense of history, all sense yeah. of time, all sense of... You know, purpose, I don't know what we're doing, but anyway, this is a, a small blip in the chart of history. I mean, hope so, so it is. Yeah. So if you think about this, you know, small businesses in India represent, uh, should represent 60% of India's GDP in, in years to come. And the role of exports in that is critically important. And the 75 million small, uh, uh, micro small businesses are critical to the growth and employment in India, right? There's, you know, over a trillion dollars of the GDP and 180 million jobs. So the, so if you think about um, the opportunity, most of those businesses are not yet digital. They are, most of those businesses do not export. And uh, if you look at the arc of history, the, the countries and the entrepreneurs that grow at this rate put an incredible focus on exports because exports lead to opportunity for small businesses. And so um, from my perspective, everything Alibaba.com can help do to help small businesses get digital and go global is a good thing. So we are investing a great deal of resources in India to try to help small businesses reach the global market. So I, I feel very optimistic about the opportunity for uh, small businesses in India. But I, I, do you have a, a, a target? I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to understand that, let's say, um, there are some companies in India that are, that are targeting about 30 million shopkeepers. Uh, uh, are you targeting shopkeepers? Are you targeting manufacturers? Uh, hmm. And whatever your target is, uh, what is roughly the size of it? Yeah, so, the, so our focus is on manufacturers and wholesale. Um, mm -hmm. So the people who make things and distribute things find a good home at Alibaba.com because we have buyers around the world. And one of the reasons why I think this is important, um, countries have different expertise. So you yeah. might come to the United States on Alibaba.com to find uh, Washington State apples because the agricultural products in the U.S. are very good. You might come to Italy for the, for the fashion and apparel and you might and a seller a buyer might want to go to India for the textiles or jewelry or other goods. And so our goal is to um, enable a hundred percent of those small businesses to join our, our platform and sell to the world. And so I, you know, Jack Ma likes to talk about um, the to think and talk about de you know hundred years, right? It will take a hundred years to fully digitize the world's small businesses. So um, we're at the beginning of that climb. Uh, you know, we're at the, you know, we're, we're at year number 21. So we have a lot of opportunity in front of us. So I won't give you a specific number. I would only say we have a decades long commitment to helping uh, businesses in India get digital and go global. Uh, no, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned the, how a lot of these businesses uh, do not, are not savvy, right? digitally savvy or probably uh, digital literacy is low even amongst business owners. Uh, how do you, you know, uh, plan to tackle that? Because 
I think there should be, uh, in my opinion, and, and we probably can talk about this offline, uh, I think there is potential for a lot of show and tell on how, uh, you know, um, can I convince, uh, I, I know a typical Indian entrepreneur, he doesn't believe anything unless he sees it. Uh, you can keep talking about the potential of technology, but uh, you have to tell him what the bottom line is. Exactly. That makes uh, sense. Yeah. Do, you, do yeah. you plan to do that? Is there, is there going to be an outreach on that front? Yeah. So there's a few things we're currently doing. One is we produce a ton of content, webinars, online events, online trade shows to educate entrepreneurs because I, I'm, I'm skeptical too, right? As, an entrep- as a lifelong entrepreneur, if I don't <laughs> see it, I don't believe it, right? Yeah. So, so um, I think that's an appropriate um, uh, mindset actually, but you also have to be open to new opportunities. And the best way to be open is to sit back and be educated um, on what the potential is. So what we do is um, we do webinars every, uh, sometimes every day, mostly every week, where a business owner can come and listen to the uh, content and under, to understand the opportunity. And they can hear from people who are selling successfully. I think there's no better uh, spokesperson for the potential of Alibaba.com than, this, mm-hmm. than the sellers who are using it today. And that's one of the things we try to do is nobody wants to hear me speak. They want to hear the entrepreneurs who are using the platform successfully and say, hey, my business is growing because of Alibaba.com. And when you hear that and you look at the data, then you can, I think then you can be convinced the potential is there. That's on one side. And the other, at, at $1,400 a year, the investment is low for something big, some, what I think is a pretty substantial opportunity. So, so, so I, I missed the investment part. How much are you? Uh, what no, is that? no what, I was, what I was saying is that the entrepreneur's investment is low. Oh, right? Okay, okay. Is so what, what, what is Alibaba's investment in India right now? Yeah, so that, so we, you know, we have teams of people and uh-huh. we have teams of people in India and then we have teams of people around the world. One of my investments in India is that the number of buyers around the world is growing so quickly, you know, and the best way to help an Indian, an entrepreneur in India is to give them more demand, more customers. And so the customers are in the United States and in Germany and in Australia and around the world, these really important uh, trading hubs that I think create substantial um, opportunity for the. Can you, will you be able to put a number on the, growth of uh, uh, businesses on the platform, let's say, over the last one year? Yeah, we, we will see uh, uh, 35% growth in supply on the platform this year. 35% since the beginning of this year? This, this calendar year, we will grow supply 35%. That's, a, that's your target. That's your uh, estimate for the growth yeah. for this year. And this is accounting for the disruption that has been caused by COVID? Yeah, the, actually, COVID is terrible and obviously the health concerns are the number one issue but for platforms like ours our businesses we've seen 20 years of acceleration in the um uh, in our business in the last Mm -hmm. two months because that you can't go to a trade show you can't Mm -hmm. travel easily between cities You, you can't get on an airplane you have to work from your laptop to the sell to the world. And our, our Alibaba.com is the largest global B2B um, marketplace. And so if you think about um, the options for an entrepreneur, they can either sit home and do nothing or they can sell to the world. Well, you know what I think is the best option. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, uh, so you, you have a 35% growth and you are like most digital businesses, most technology led businesses seeing a spike um, in, uh, in the number of uh, uh, businesses that are, that are getting on board uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, all the best to you. All the best to Alibaba. All the best to all your, uh, you know, suppliers and buyers and all those participants on your platform. Uh, you know, may they all make money and uh, make this world a more connected and a much better place, a much wealthier place at least to start with.
Thank you so much, John, for your time. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time talking to you. Um, and thanks to everyone who was watching this very special broadcast, the MSME Exchange. This is just the beginning. You're going to see a lot more, uh, a very solution-driven options for you to improve your business, your, uh, the prospects for your business, the revenue and the growth in the days to come. So stay tuned to Business Insider. This is Sri Ramayar signing off. Thank you.